speed, 120, not particularly fast. How does that compare to the grasshopper? Gra it's the same speed as the grasshopper. Really? We don't even get faster? By the way, the griffin sounds like it'd kind of be interesting in multiplayer. And look at that. Fucking Shadowhawk's faster, too. Shadowhawk is 150 speed. So this is interesting. Uh, what else did we want in this? It's fine. So, I'd check this out. I'd play it to feel it, but it means you're going to be running four lighter... Uh, Four lighter uh, weapons there. Four lighter hunchbacks. Four lighter grasshoppers, even. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we don't. You almost get no no called shots in multiplayer, though. I spine. That's one of the things I was talking about. That armor, armor everywhere is better. Uh, okay, so we can pick a lance. Let's just make a new lance. This one will be, uh... Maybe. I believe game. Yeah. Yeah, this is, like, the simplest lance known to man, right? What does it do? It runs at you with hunchbacks and shoots you with lasers. Look at that. 24.64. Okay. What would we do if we wanted to do that? We would want, don't really care about multi-targeting, particularly we want movement. This is probably very similar to the other one in terms of what we're running with that. It's probably a fair amount of evasive movement for jumping bonuses. Um, but it's some degree of piloting and guts. Showboat's fine. And witness is fine. Something like that. Okay. Quasimodo. Yep. This is laser vomit lance. Sure. It's a laser vomit lance. I agree. All right. Any mechs that would be good with plus melee mods. You don't have the option to put plus melee mods in multiplayer. So um, there might be, but you can't. So, I like the idea, though, of a very fast mech. Um, so, alright, I wish I could, can I sort by, can I just remove their lances? I can't delete their lances, it's too bad. I can delete my lances. Um, I don't think I ever want to play that, uh, these, again. Like, that was so terrible. I mean, it wasn't, it's not like I wasn't expecting it to be terrible, but it played so terrible that I don't think I ever want to play that again. Okay. Do I enjoy the multiplayer? Eh, somewhat. I enjoy the theory crafting with the multiplayer. So, uh, looked at that. That's a kind of our, we have two laser vomit lances. We'd like to tweak the uh, the one with the, the light mechs there a little bit if we can. Let's look at something that uh, isn't exactly just laser vomit. You know, is there anything we can do with a little bit of like knockdown capability, for example, would be interesting to me. I can unselect stock. Oh, I can. Neat. Thanks. Didn't know that. Oh, that's super fucking helpful. Cheers, Dan Wolf. Do I enjoy the multiplayer more than the single player? I think the single player will have limited replayability because I think you will basically end up doing the same thing over and over again in the single player. I really liked the single player. thought it was a really good single player game. And I don't often enjoy single... That's not true. I've been enjoying single player games much more over the last couple of years than I have in my past life. Um, but I don't know. It, it depends how replayable the multiplayer is. Multiplayer is just a skirmish and it's always a 4v4 skirmish. So, I mean, hypothetically, you have... there's four classes of fights you can have. You can have your $15 million, $15 million uh, setup, your $20 million setup, your $25 million setup, and then you have your uh, unlimited setup. So you can run four assaults. Yeah, damn well, that would be cool. 
Um, all right, so we have the hunchback one, the grasshopper one. I wouldn't mind messing with the lights to be a little bit more efficient. They're not super efficient right now, but these are essentially the same group. And the fact that the hunchbacks aren't any faster than the grasshoppers leaves me a little bit annoyed. Um, I'm not sure it makes it better. I really like the machine gun element of the grasshoppers, and I like their heavier armor. Makes them a lot tankier. Um, I wanted to play around with putting a dragon in one of the lances. So um, let's kind of look at the rough cost of that first, and then we'll go actually customize the mechs or make, up, make this up. So um, the dragon is a medium? Might be a heavy. I think it's a heavy. Yeah, it's definitely a heavy. All right. Wait, there's only one heavy? What? Oh, something weird there. Is the dragon a quick draw? That's what I wanted to look at. Dragon, right? Dragon's the first level of heavy there. But it wasn't either of those. I was looking for a faster mech is what I was trying to do. So walk speed on these, 150 on the griffin, 150 on the dragon. So walk speed of the Shadowhawk, also 150. Taro's 150. Hunchback's 120. So maybe the dragon. The dragon is the fastest heavy. is it though isn't it a 65 ton mech there it is all right so here's the dragon what can the dragon do the dragon has slots everywhere only has two utility hard points if i want to punch it has punching damage and speed though which means it should be fairly quick with jump jets and can i do anything once i get close enough maybe but i like the idea of a heavy closing in on people who probably don't want to be in melee range with a with a heavy um all right, how much does it weigh? Can I get two of those and do that twice and then have just like missile support or something else? Maybe Shadowhawk missile support? There's no way we basically get two of those in, right? See, that's close to what I'd be doing. Dragon has no advantage over the 55 ton mechs. Um, might be right there. Let's take a look. Does a little tiny bit more punching damage, which may or may not actually be very useful. Goes slower and lower in the initiative order. How is it in terms of pure tonnage of armor? Uh, does that, why is that not on the spreadsheet? That feels like it'd be super important. Max jets, walk speed, DFA, tons free to hit, tons class, yeah. What's the quick draw do differently? Quick draw does half the punch damage, guys. Although the Shadowhawk does 85 to the 90 of the dragon. Maybe, I don't, I don't know if Dan Wolf, maybe I'm not seeing it. I want um, ton, uh, a tonnage of armor. That's pretty close. This one might run one dragon or we run more shadow hawks. So we had that full uh, hunchback layout. We can get a full shadow hawk layout. Really? All right. Let's try this too. Let's see if we can do this not pure lasers. Uh, let's see if we can get something out of that. We're not doing pilots right now. We'll worry about that later. Okay. It's half a ton more armor. Nice. Half a ton of armor is a lot. Um, where is our Shadowhawk variants? 55. So this is the missile one. 
Where's the other one? Oh, it's not missile related. It's this is the laser related one. So what? What is the t the two of these? Oh, this one has auto cannons. Lol, fucking auto cannons. All right, let's uh, copy this one. Uh, strip equipment, max the armor. Doesn't leave us a lot of tons to play with. What I would like is some ability to knock down. That might be SRMs. Might not. So these are doing 12. So let's let me look at this. So this is doing three per. This is doing two per, but it's a hell of a lot more missiles in each of those volleys. Although the SRM six, SRM four is doing 12 stability, and this is doing 10. So SRM fours are a fairly efficient stability damage too. It's interesting. And what can we do for, I mean, it seems impossible. The, what is a multiplayer meta? Jump jets, the multiplayer fucking meta. Things are ridiculous. Uh, sure. Now we're like five tons out. We don't need heat sinks, right? That's not important. Do we have more laser slots? Three, two, one. No, we're out of lasers. So oh, we need a uh, SRM ammo. How much do we need? We're checking out 12 around. 100 is fine then. Twenty million tournament of uh, this. I think I have no suggestions for you, Ozzy. I'm sorry, I haven't uh, done enough multiplayer, and I haven't even played around with a twenty million bidding. So uh, I don't. I I would remind you that uh, light la uh, medium lasers and light lasers are the most efficient damage dealers in the game. I would remind you that uh, mobility seems to be king. So uh, I'd bring jump jets. I don't know what I'd bring specifically. Um. So this is no heat sinks at all. What do three SRM fours generate? Twenty four. Can't spam this guy four times. Can I not? Six point six eight. I cannot. I have fucking ammo. It's right there. Stop telling me no ammo. No heat sinks, always questionable. Could pull a little bit of armor, but I don't know, 0.81 tons starts to be a lot. Is it 6 point, I should bid that real quick. Uh, 6.75 is 13 and a half, no, I think, I think this is, you might be right, let's take a look, 6.68, right? It's 26.72. So you're right, we are actually over the, the limit right now. I've added 0.44 million to this, somehow. So if we do 25 divided by four, we're looking at 6.25 is the most we can bring. Say I dump the medium laser. That didn't bring its combat value down, really. Huh. 
I just live with the... There's nothing else here. Uh, okay. A few seconds that I deal with this, my wife is texting me. Um, I think this is gonna be pretty fucking obnoxious. This uh, this thing it has some knockback capabilities, which is nice too. So we could potentially, if there's a guy who doesn't fortify, we could go after him and knock him down, and then kill him afterwards. Um, this is the same. It's essentially the same thing though as the grasshoppers and the hunchbacks, which is jump and get behind people. It just has knockdown support. Um, this is six point six eight, right? Save that temporarily. Oh, shit. I didn't want to call it Shadowhawk copy, though. We'll never remember what it does. Where is the actual thing here? Is that what it names it? No. It's this one. All right. I mean, alpha on this is 20. What is this? 25, uh, 75. The fours are doing 32 each. All right, so it's 32 times three plus 75 plus 40 off the small lasers. Supposedly it's doing 211 here. Runs super hot, no heat sinks to be found, um, which means it's not gonna be able to do this very often. But that's okay, I'm not actually looking to use all the weapon systems simultaneously. So this is running, what is this, 30, these generate eight each is 24, so it's 54. Um, and the two lasers is 64. We'll call it 54 and then drop the 30, so it's very hot. And it has jump jets. Okay. All right. So for the lance itself, Funny, that doesn't actually work then properly. What is the ST? Valid for stock servers. Okay, let's edit this. Okay. Um, I don't know if they can see that the things I call it myself. I don't think they can. This is the guy we'd be running. If I ran three of these and a hunchback, does that work? So we have 4.96 4 million to spend here. Get one of the hunchbacks. It's a terrible one. See, is that, I can see why people, have, I mean, I like the knockback capabilities, knockdown capabilities of having uh, ballistic weapon or uh, missile based weapons there. No way I can get that down more than that, though. Are you a big light? Is there like a missile based light? Probably not. We could do three of these with a missile boat. Although the best missile boat is the Shadowhawk. So, I mean, I could see. All right, let's save this temporarily. Let's see if we can get a missile variant, like an LRM variant, going too. All right. What do we have? Four point nine six. See, that doesn't, even if I strip all the armor, still can't get to 4.96. Taro's a missile boat? It's not really. Not in the way that, not in the LRM sense of it. Let's 
uh, damage per heat here and damage per ton. LRM 15s are the sweet spot. LRM 5s are really good stability per ton. Their damage per ton is pretty good too. Maybe we could. Maybe let's try the Kintaro, maybe. I think they're pretty slow, but it's not necessarily the worst thing ever. Where's my Kintaro? Uh, 55 somewhere. There. We do have five missile mounts, that's something. And we're gonna need some ammo for this. We're gonna need jump jets. And yeah, what can we do with this? That's right, the birds are singing, the mower's mowing. There's a bird's nest right there. And my wife is very protective of it. I'm not been allowed to open this window for the next couple weeks. I'm a little bit disturbed to see because currently they're eggs. And when they turn into little chicks right there, I'm expecting there's gonna be a chirp chirp right here <laughs> so i don't quite know what i'm doing about that yet so uh, i think you need jump jets if you want someone not to be killed uh, how much heat is this generating six fives it's generating 30 heat so we need to upgrade these to lrm 10s i guess Are lrm 10s worth even talking about damage per ton um, the other M10 is in the worst. It's also the least amount of damage for heat and the least amount of stability. No, LRM 15s and LRM 5s are both better. Uh, I wonder if I can get an LRM 5 here. Or LRM 15, rather. New. No. But I might be able to get that instead of this. Run three fives and a 15. Like that. We have 240 ammo. How is that in terms of what we're running? So we're spitting out, this is 20. We're only spitting out 30 LRMs around. That really isn't that many. So they do two stab damage each. So that's 60 stab damage. But 60 stab damage isn't too, too much. And this weight is still too heavy. Um, what were we actually saying? This was 30 around. Was it 240 over 30 then? So 24 over 3 is 80. Or 8, rather. Is that right? Yeah, 8 rounds. Okay. 8 rounds is a little bit low on missile ammo. So I'd like another ton of missiles. Which means I need even more taken off. Are we actually getting much more advantage now over two fives? So we can drop the 15 and get two fives. We'll lose five missiles. Put a little bit more weight on it. What's the heat? I don't know. I, I'm kind of thinking the LRM fives are a thing here. Gives a lot of weight. The LRM 10. I'm just worried about those missiles. See, that would actually fit. Does the Centurion run two LRM 15s? Maybe. We'll look in a second what that looks like. Is there any reason for three LRM 5s or one LRM 15? Yeah. Lots of reasons. Weight, heat, efficiency. I mean, the LRM 15 damage per ton is. Worse than the LRM5. Uh, 
the damage per heat is better and the stab per ton is worse. The other M5 is better than the other M15. If I throw in some more ammo, a couple heat sinks. Not really in this for the uh, And do I care about this arm? Oh, I'm missing another M5. What? Okay. that looks okay so we have five LRM this is 25 missiles only only 25 missiles out of this although they're pretty efficient it's doing 50 stab damage generates 30 heat it's pretty mobile we drop that heat sink Put the rest in armor. I think if we're getting shot at, I don't know. I don't really like this too much. Um, we're cold three, right? All right. Let's take a look at the Centurion. All my jump jets in my center torso. Mm. I kind of like spreading them out. I don't know if there's a reason to do that or not. I guess I'm not entirely sold on my own logic for it. Centurion. What does the Centurion look like for? Cabrichet's got two mounts. Mounts. Where's the Centurion? These are hunchbacks. Enforcer's got one. Centurion with two. Centurion with three missile mounts here. Let's take a look at it. I mean, I can DFA those limbs gone. I don't know. Maybe there's an argument for in the center torso. Maybe not. The, the benefit of it being in the center torso is if the center torso is gone, you're gone. The benefit of it being spread out is if you take uh, structure damage in multiple locations, you haven't lost all your jump jet capabilities. So if you're in structure in the center torso, the center torso has the most structure and it also, also the most armor. I don't know. I can see it either way. Uh, okay. So what are we considering doing this? We're considering doing uh, LRMs on this guy again. It's a cheaper mech. Which is nice. Only three launchers. All the launchers are in the torso too. Well, we're we're sold. We'll just bring those. I'll do it. Um, looking for at least three ammo packs. For jump jets, oh, it only can mount four. Does that mean it's slower? already increased its oh it was when it was naked it was that that value i don't want this i want something that combos with either the hunchbacks or the shadowhawk oh. 
Ugh. Okay. So I told you I fought a three centurion group, Dalarams. 